Here I am, I'm Vincent. Uh, this is Marlboro, Vermont on the Auger Hole Road. It's a beautiful fall day. I'm beginning to get my wood up. And this is what I do every morning. I come out here. I pretty much come out here every day. And this is the writing room. And sometimes I sit on these chairs and write if it's warm enough. Or I go into the room, which was once a wood shop. So this is my red door. It has heat, no plumbing. Uh, it has basically all the remnants of my life. I, and on the walls I have just sort of a history of my life, I suppose, with my children. These are the um, bronze horses on St. Mark's in Venice. That is a painting by Ann Eaton Parker, my wife's aunt. It's called Archaeology, which is sort of thematic to the way I think, which is, shows you civilizations arising and falling. These are pictures that Susan took when we lived in Iowa. That's where I met Susan when I was in the writer's workshop. And I was living on a farm by myself. I had a 14-room farm, farmhouse for $100 a month with uh, an outhouse and cold water. Up here are all my books on Italians and Italian-Americans on the top shelf. These are all my notebooks, my journals, which I have boxes of, and I don't know what I'm ever going to do with them. It's a plywood desk that I made and I've always had. I basically write, I write usually longhand with a pen, usually on legal paper or in my journal, and sometimes the journal leads to things that I can enter on the computer. Directly across from me is a little postcard of Shakespeare who stares at me while I work. I keep a typewriter for when I get stuck or when I just want to write in a different way or just kind of break the routine. The bed is, I take naps frequently, especially when the writing gets difficult. I tend to go right to sleep. And then when I wake up, sometimes I have an idea or sometimes I kind of solve the problem that uh, I was thinking about. My grandpa, Vincent, who's uh, I'm named after him, came here in 1901 at age 17 on a, on a steamship called the Trojan Prince. The Trojan Prince was later um, torpedoed by, by a German submarine, and many of the steamships were. This is my Sicilian grandpa. He, was a, he came here in 1904, I think, and he was uh, made bread. He was a baker. This is, this is this little flask that he brought from Sicily. He was retired at that point. He worked on the railroad with my other grandpa. Mainly I come in here pretty much every day of the week, even if I don't work. I try not to do anything else except write. This guy ever have a sign that says, write first thing. And I try to write the first thing without um, any distractions. Since I write by hand, and I do write on the computer, but mainly I write by hand. So it's a process of Printing, editing, reprinting, editing, time after time. You just keep doing it over and over again. For the, um, yeah, you, you can write, I can write a paragraph a hundred times or a sentence many times. I mean, I think every, every writer, most writers do that. I'm not the kind of writer who outlines um, um, more or less, I sort of do it as I go along. And as Raymond Chandler said, if it's not right, you rip it up and you start all over again. Sometimes I have an idea of where I want to go, but uh, most of the time I don't. And I just write away and uh, throw out what I don't need. And I throw out much more than I save, that's for sure. And I've been coming in here since we moved here in 1980. And I realize that's 40 years. So that for 40 years I've been coming into this room. And the strange part is I don't get tired of coming into this room. I like coming into this room. I often lie on the bed and read and look up at all these books and I say, this is, this is what I've devoted my life to. It's a funny thing. It's kind of strange. And I, yes, I'm committed and that's it. I mean, at my age, I'm going to be 81 in a few weeks and I'm still here.